Hey, what's up, family? This is Kiki here. Um, today we are making rotel dip. We are making ground beef and shrimp rotel dip for my family. Um, so here are the ingredients that I am using for my rotel. I do have some sour cream in the uh, fridge that I'll be adding to it, and also um, some shrimp that I will be cooking on the side and adding to it at the end. So. If you want to uh, know how I make my rotel dip, keep continue watching. Okay, so right now I got my ground beef. I got about um, two pounds of ground um, beef that I'm about to go ahead and brown. And I'm about to start seasoning. Um, you can use whatever seasoning that you like to use. Um, I really don't show the season, but I um, use a little um, onion powder, garlic powder, um some I believe some black pepper some sazon sazon um, however you say that and um, a few other seasons but you can go ahead and put what you want in your uh, rotel I've seen people who don't season at all but it's up to you on how you want to flavor your food so um, yeah you can't really go wrong here so go ahead and um season to the season gods tell you to stop <laughs> okay so we just gonna let our um ground beef brown and i will be back when that is finished so our ground beef is nice and brown so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna go ahead and drain all the um fat off the grease and fat off of it because this ground beef that I got was not lean at all so I'm gonna go ahead and drain all of the fats and yeah that's what I'm going to do and once I complete that I'm going to add in some chopped onions and um, I'm gonna sear that um, for a little bit Okay, so um, the onions were done um, uh, searing in the pan. I added the drained uh, ground beef back into the pan. Now I'm about to add my, um, that was taco seasonings. Um, I added taco seasonings to it. That's totally optional. You don't have to do that. And some water, but I want it to be like a little taco flavored. So I did add a pack of taco seasoning to the um ground beef mixture so what I'm about to do next is I'm adding in my cans of Rotel leaving the liquid um, I added the fire roasted and the original Rotel and I added uh, three cans of that into the beef mixture and like I said go ahead and leave your um, liquid from the Rotel in there now what you see I have my um, cheeses I have my black cheeses um, it's something like it's not Velveeta something like Velveeta but um, it's, it's the off brand I got from Audi's and I'm also adding um, cream cheese to it I know a lot of people don't really add cream cheese to theirs but this is my version so um, I just love the way the cream cheese makes it taste but um yeah that's what i'm adding into there and at this point i only used about um half of the block of um of the Velveeta cheese the imitation Velveeta cheese I use like half of that block and then I use the whole block of cream cheese but later on in the video you will see that I had to add the rest of the um I had to add the rest of the Velveeta. I'm sorry, it's about almost three o'clock in the morning and I'm doing this voiceover. But I had to add the rest of that and we're just gonna go ahead and let that melt down. You don't need to do anything to it. I'm going to put a lid over it and just let that um, block down. Oh, child, I'm gonna let it melt down. <laughs> I'm gonna let it melt down and um, my fire is on. Um, medium 
um, it's on low. It's on low because I don't want anything to burn. So that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, everything is um, melting down nicely. Um, you just want to make sure you keep um, checking on it and stirring it occasionally because you don't want um, your cheese to um, start to stick to the bottom or melt, I mean, or burn um, burn the pan. So go ahead and keep, you know, stirring it frequently. And um, the lid just helps everything melt together um, nicely. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And you see here, everything has melted down nicely. And we are just about finished with our Rotel dip. The only thing left to do is get ready to add in the shrimp. Um, the shrimp was cooked before, so that way you don't have to cook it. You know, you don't want to, um, you want to add that last because you don't want to, um, any chewy shrimp. So we add that at the very end of, um, the cooking process because it's already cooked and you know so we're just getting that mixed all in there and basically our rotel is finished so um i will be plating this up for you and let you see how i do mine okay so here are my finished nachos i added jalapeno and some sour cream to mine and if you made it this far into the video let me apologize i said um like a thousand times in the video but i am tired <laughs> so if you like this recipe and want more like it hit that like button and subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time thank you for watching